Virginia's top cop has spent millions of dollars in public money on a media campaign that is set to launch any day. The attorney general is betting his office can convince young people in the Commonwealth to stop carrying guns and breaking the law. Is that, though, a good bet or is it a gamble with your money? Investigative reporter Mitch Blocker is searching for the answer. <laughs> Violent crime is not a game. It has far-reaching impacts on our communities. Virginia's Attorney General stars in this 16-second trailer. I'm taking action to solve this problem and make your neighborhood safer. State contracting and spending records show the AG hired and paid a Richmond-based PR agency $2.8 million to put together a wide-ranging media campaign to, quote, reduce the incidence of gun violence and gang involvement in communities throughout Virginia. The AG points to these three studies, all from the last 15 years, showing media campaigns can change behavior. You can't understate the level of influence a media campaign can have on changing behavior. I miss my son. Shanae Morton wishes her 14-year-old son had had better influences on his behavior. He died along with his three teenage passengers when he crashed this stolen car into a tree. Police say three to four masked men carjacked the owner. No one has said definitively why the 14-year-old was behind the wheel. His mom is even left only guessing. They just get caught up in the moment. These kids be living in the moment. They don't never see nothing's going to turn out bad. It rarely does in the video game fantasy world she told us he enjoyed. One of the most popular and profitable video game franchises ever is named for a felony. Grand Theft Auto has sold more than 410 million copies. The trailer for its unreleased sixth edition has more than 166 million views. The Virginia Attorney General's trailer has fewer than 200 so far, but his strategy is to ride the game maker's coattails. His trailer's press release included a link to Grand Theft Auto's. We knew it was a popular video game. We knew there was something that a lot of young people and that, you know, 16 to 28, 29 year old demographic are going to be watching. It's exactly why we timed it with that release. What we're trying to do is get a positive message to young people that says gun crime means more time. Leave your gun at home. Don't commit acts of violence. Does it take almost three million dollars to tell somebody that message? Are they actually going to listen to you? Every single bit of market research on how television commercials and media works is repetition. And that's why the primary uh, a driver of this message is not going to be me. It's going to be a third party on camera. I'm on camera a very, very brief time.